We have an exclusive for you here today. I have John Ferguson, the CEO of Saxon Aerospace, who is a subject matter expert, a manufacturer of unmanned drones. This is his assessment of what's going on with the mysterious drones that are plaguing New Jersey and other places in America right now. Watch this. Hey, everyone. My name is John Ferguson. I'm the CEO of Saxon Aerospace uh, here in, in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, I'm not normally a TikTok kind of a guy. I like watching this stuff every, every once in a while. Um, but I'm a manufacturer of uh, unmanned aircraft, military-grade unmanned aircraft, as you can see one of my systems here. Um, there's all of these mysterious drones going on off the East Coast. And as a, as a professional, as a subject matter expert, I wanted to give you all my opinion on what I think could be going on with these drones. Uh, I don't particularly believe that these have a nefarious intent. I, I could be wrong, but I want to give you the truth and what I believe. It's my own opinion, and I've not bounced this off of anybody. So, you know, if you think it's bullshit, whatever, that's cool. You know, I, I don't want to spread misinformation as we know that there's a lot of that going around. But anyway, uh, back in the 1980s, Ronald Reagan had dismantled the uh, uh, nuclear program, and there were, uh, with Russia, there were countless uh, nuclear missiles that were that were disarmed and disposed of. Well, there were uh, over 80, I believe. There were over 80 uh, nuclear warheads th that were in Ukraine that came up missing. Okay. Uh, we don't know where they are. Maybe somebody does, but uh, nobody really knows where these are. And I, you know, I speak with some pretty high-level government officials on this stuff, and it seems as though that is the case. Um, so I spoke to a gentleman a few months ago who was trying to raise an alarm to the highest levels of our government, which they had their ears closed, um, about this one particular nuclear warhead that he physically put his hands on. He physically touched this warhead that was left over from Ukraine. And he knew that that thing was headed towards the United States. Okay? Um, that is a very serious deal. And everyone knows that the United States government, this administration, is pushing to get into a war with Russia uh, we all know that. We all feel it. We all see it. Okay? Well, back up a few years. Do you all remember when those drones were mysteriously flying across the Interstate 70 corridor from Colorado up into Nebraska, down here into Kansas, and out into Missouri? Well, it was believed that those drones were looking for radioactive material because there had been some material that come up missing here in the United States and they felt like it was a uh, high probability that it would the nuclear or the radioactive material would be taken along the Interstate 70 corridor heading east or west or south so I from what we understand they were out there trying to find this radioactive material now drones they have no reason to be in the air at night unless you're doing some type of ISR work, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, you know, looking for bad guys or looking for uh, um, a victim, a search and rescue victim or law enforcement or some type of military um, project, right? There's no reason for a drone to be flying at night really okay because they don't see shit <laughs> so you know unless you have thermal optics drones really don't see stuff you need to do mapping during the day if you're going to do farming stuff mostly do it during the day the only reason why you would ever fly an aircraft an unmanned aircraft at night is if you're looking for something whether it be a person or trying to smell gas. We have methane gas detection, de detection systems um, uh, that can 
that can detect gas leaks and pipelines. You really wouldn't use thermal optics for trying to find gas leaks just simply because the only way you're actually going to find a gas leak with thermal optics is if the gas leak is aggressive enough that it has a difference in temperature because radio uh, thermal imaging it it creates a digital image based off of the temperature variance so whatever is different in temperature it creates an image gas usually gas leaks so slow that it goes quickly into ambient bef you know before you can even see it so we have special sensors that can detect gas leaks we also have special sensors that can detect radioactive material so um, with this gentleman that I had uh, spoken with who was trying to raise the alarm to try to get somebody in the government to say, hey, we need to work together to go try to find this nuclear warhead, none of that ever happened. They knew that warhead was on its way to the United States. That's all that ever came of it. Nothing ever happened. This government did not do anything at all to help this gentleman raise the alarm and raise awareness that there is a very uh, deadly weapon on its way to the United States. It's out there. Nobody knows where it's at now. It, it left Europe. Now it's gone. So my guess, my own guess, is that these drones are not nefarious in intent. If they are, they are, but I doubt it. Um, but if they are our drones the only reason why they would be flying and flying that low is because they're trying to smell something on the ground that's it there's no other reason for a drone to be flying in the air other than to piss a bunch of people off at night that's it so my belief is they're trying to smell something on the ground gas leaks radioactive material whatever so and <laughs> Do I think that, uh, that they're coming up out of the ocean? No, I don't think so. Uh, drones that are multi-copter type drones, not the, not the, you know, the, the fixed wing aircraft that look like regular airplanes, but the multi-copters, you know, they only have so much battery life. They have hybrid versions that are gas powered with electric, uh, but those can still only fly for a short period of time. There's no way in hell that any drone is going to go miles off the off the coast as a multicopter and fly into the interior of the United States and do a bunch of work and then turn around and fly back. It's just physics will not allow that to happen. So these drones, I believe, are launched from an, um, a location that nobody knows. But I do believe that, that they're flying low enough that they're just trying to sniff the ground and try to find something. So, again, uh, I hate to be a pessimist or a guy that thinks, you know, directly to the negative. However, I do, I know as, as a professional, I mean, we build professional stuff for the military. You know, I believe that they're actually out there trying to smell something that's very important. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think of this video. I'm not trying to gaslight. I'm not trying to scare people. I'm just trying to let people know that this is a serious deal. Um, there, it's, it's only serious for what the potential could be, you know, or for what the potential is. You know, there's a lot of them out there. They're flying all over. They're flying low. They're flying at night. There's no reason for it other than to smell something. So anyway, God bless. I hope you all have a wonderful Merry Christmas. That's subject matter expert again, John Saxon, CEO of a aerospace company that actually has contracts with the military. I don't know if you could trust anybody more than that guy. I would love to get your thoughts on what he said, what his assessment was. Was I the only one who was like, they can smell? I was like, well, I didn't know drones could smell. Um, I, I do think that there's been a lot of conjecture, a lot of skepticism, a lot of question marks, but there's also been, I think, a lot of substantive 
uh, assessment saying that this is definitely something that is our own, our own government. Otherwise, how in the world could they deny this? I, sh I talked about this on the stream last night. John Kirby, the ridiculous um, rear admiral. This guy was a rear admiral who essentially was just saying, we don't know anything. We don't know what the hell's going on, but we don't think it's bad. Well, it just... It reeks of everything the Biden-Harris administration failed to do for the last four dark years. It reeks of their hypocriticalness. I call them the hypocrites. It reeks of their dishonesty, and it smacks of why the mandate happened on November 5th. And we, the American people, have spoken. By the way, if you want to get this 100% Made in the USA original merch, you got hats, hoodies, shirts. You can, if you're watching on YouTube, there's a carousel down there that you can actually just click on and shop or go to professionals.com forward slash merch or just check out the pinned comment, show notes, and description. I tend to believe this guy. I think he's telling the truth. I think he knows. I had no idea they could smell. Um, I think that the government is lying to us. I think they would have probably shot these things down if it was obviously some kind of foreign entity or some kind of an invasion or some kind of Iranian, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I don't think it's any of that. I tend to believe this guy. I think he's telling the truth. And I think to me, this is why I shared this video. This is the most accurate assessment of what is going on. But what is absolutely capital W wrong and the most egregious thing is our government's not telling us anything. They haven't learned anything about this past election that, you know what? We don't trust you. We've never trusted you. Uh, you've lied to us repeatedly. Lying is not going to fix anything. The, treating us like small children that we can't handle things is not how you guys are ever going to get back into power. Um, why haven't you taken heed of the reasons why you lost? The reason that Trump won, the reason we got the House and the Senate is because we're sick and tired of your inauthenticity, period. And so I don't know why they don't just tell us the truth. Hey, we lost a nuke or, hey, you know, there's something really serious in the woods. Uh, we lost our keys. And this key, metaphorically speaking, is pretty bad boogie. And we're trying to find it. Just tell us the truth. We can handle it. I think the question marks and the wondering and the why and the leaving us in the dark creates more panic as a matter of fact. So it has the adverse effect of what they're hoping for. But again, I'd love to get your thoughts uh, on what's going on. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this aerospace CEO, John Ferguson. Thank you, John Ferguson, for the video. I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you uh, let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and follow. Sign up for our free newsletter in the pinned comment show notes description as well. Share this with everybody you know so we can kind of, you know, get the information out there. I think this is one of the best assessments. Again, it's not for me, a subject matter expert. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right here if you haven't seen them already. Ready. Tap my face right there to subscribe and follow. It's absolutely free. And as always, may God bless you and may God bless the USA. I'll see you soon.